Okay, so to make a sabiki rig, which is basically a rig with usually three or six small hooks, something like this, um, all in a row, they're mostly used to catch um, bait fish. Where I live, you can use them to catch snapper or small bluefish. Um, so I'll use a similar method to what I used in a previous video, when I'll take a piece of plastic and I'll fold it in half and cut it into a piece that looks like this. Then I'll take whatever hook I'm using, in this case I'm using a 10 aught little barbless hook, because with the fish that I catch, it's much easier if you have barbless, because then you can just pull them in, pop them right off, and throw it back out again. You take it, you size it, and depending on what shape you want to have, you can have... Um, I had already posted two videos, so this is um, a similar style to what I did in a previous video. Um, it's the darter style. And what I had to do with this one, because the hook was so small, was that I had to I had to cut trim the end of it um, so that it would fit on the hook shank a little better. So what I have is this very small hook and this very small piece of plastic and I'll line the little piece up and this is the same snelling method that I've used in all of my lure making videos so far. So I'll take my piece of line, put it through the eye, pull it back down, loop the other piece over, and hold it onto this side. All right. If you want to see a little bit more detailed version of this, I've done it on a bunch of other videos where I've explained it a little better. So now I'll just do the wrapping. I like to wrap all the way to the end of the little groove that I've made. Um, when I cut the plastic so that it would fit on the shank a little better. So with this really fine line you definitely want to wet it because otherwise it's not going to work because um, it gets tight and hot and it doesn't pull through as you would want it to. So then you got to pull it through. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I cinched it onto the plastic here, so I'm just having to fix that. Um, but the basic idea is there. So, once you cinch it tight, I like to use a pair of nail clippers so you can get that tag end cut right about almost there. Now once you cut that little tag end piece, you're left with something that looks like this. Um, now what I'll do is I'll make a bunch of these and I'll do a perfection loop on the end so it's good and straight. Um, and I will, these, this is all 8 pound test fluorocarbon here. So now I have a bunch of these little darters, which started out looking like this, little pieces of plastic. I'll take a longer piece of line, this is 20 pound test, and I'll tie a surgeon's loop on the bottom, where I will put a weight. So we'll tie a surgeon's loop, you take the line, loop it over itself, put it through its own loop once, twice, and cinch it tight. Now just for the sake of example, so you guys can see it, this is a 6 ounce weight. I would never use something like this, because for small fish I'd probably just use a once at 1 ounce, but just for the sake of an example. Let's pull it through. Now it's nice and tight on there. Then I'll tie a dropper loop, so you grab an expanse of the line, loop it over itself, then you twist the line the first line and the second line together a bunch of times. I like to normally do 20 pound test five or six times. And then you take this big piece and you pull it back through itself 
back through the smaller loop, pull that up, cinch it tight, and you're left with something that looks like that, with that on the end. What I'll do now is I'll take this loop, I'll take one of my little pieces, one of the little darters that I've made, put it back through the bigger loop, and there you go, now it's on there. You want to space them so that when they're getting pulled through the water they won't run into each other. But then you'll make a whole bunch, have a nice long line of them, and that's how I make a sabiki rig.